Very good. Well, that brings us to the theme of the next poem, which is not in Greek now, but in Latin. Is that correct? That's right. This poem is in Latin. Uh, this is not on the same level as Pinder and Sappho. We'll let the audience judge. This poem is by me. <laughs> I enjoy writing in Latin because the vowel system is much richer than mm -hmm. English. And ancient Latin had tones, which have been lost in the modern pronunciation. This is a brief poem of mine, part of a series written to natural objects. This is To the Moon. To Moon. Lady rising. Among the stars, exalted. Queen of heaven and mother of peace, your silver transit in the heights above opens our hearts in this world below. Fill us with your silent grace. Ad lunam, dominoriens in astris excelsa, regina caeli paquisque mater, transitus tibinartis argentia supra, petra nos hoc in mundo aperet infra, grate implinos tua, Silente. Well, you certainly know how to chant, Arthur. I must say that um, that would be worthy of a monk. Some of that chanting. It's my gay genes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you've never been a disco singer, but you could chant. Oh, you could well. do a respectable. <laughs> you could do disco chanting, maybe. <laughs> well, we're um, about a minute and a half uh, left in the program. Um, what kinds of things are you working on now? I'm working on uh, mostly political things. Uh, I live at the corner of, of Haight and Ashbury Street, and uh, I've become an activist concerned about neighborhood safety. And uh, I spend a lot of time going to public meetings and dealing with politicians and police. And when I go to these meetings, I take very careful notes of uh -huh. what they say. The kind of notes only a classically trained scholar That's could right. provide. And I've got a, a lot of material that would actually work <laughs> for satire. It's true. It's true material. But when you watch these politicians in operation, you have to think, this is real theater of the absurd. It certainly is in a lot of cases. Well, perhaps you'll be the juvenile of San Francisco. <laughs> well, we're almost out of time. Um, I want to uh, thank you again for being on the show, Arthur Evans, local poet and writer, activist, and uh, man of many, many occupations. Um, We've been uh, talking here on A View for You on the public access channel, Comcast 76, at and 99 and Astound 30. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks on June 16th. We'll have Dan Smith, another local artist, uh, giving us some poems in classical Chinese and some of his own composition. Uh, so we hope to see you then. And until then, uh, we wish you a very good June. And thank you again for watching. And until then, good night. <laughs>